What's going on, X-Factor Fitness team? It is arm day. I'm tired of seeing those puny arms. Let's grow. This workout that I'm about to show you is guaranteed to put some mass on your arms, but only if you follow these cues and give it 110% effort. Are you ready? Because I know I am. So let's get into this workout. So before we kick things off, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, thank you. And I encourage you all to join the X Factor Fitness team. It's free. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button. Go ahead and be proactive and like this video before we even get started. And also stay hydrated with your BCAAs. Extend. The link is down low in the description box. All right, so here's the problem. You guys aren't growing bigger arms simply because you're doing a lot of exercises incorrectly. At the same time, you're also not doing the most optimal exercises that are geared towards mass building. Rep range is important and form is even more important. So kicking off this workout, the first exercise we come to is the traditional barbell curl. If you have an easy bar, that would be better simply because it's easier on the wrist. Hence the word easy bar. I made that up. I'm sure it's not why they call it that, but it still works easy bar a barbell is just as good you just may not be able to load it up with a ton of weight which you don't need to it's biceps we're growing here it's a small muscle group we don't need a ton of weight all right so here are some cues that you need to focus on stand with your feet shoulder width apart core tight scapula retracted meaning shoulders slightly back we need those shoulders back to make sure we put all the stress on the bicep and not the shoulders keep your chest up also you should be grabbing the bar with your hands shoulder width apart as well you'll lose bicep activation the closer your arms are together or the closer your hands are together. These are all the little things that I'm thinking of when I'm performing this movement. When I'm pulling the weight up, I'm focused on keeping my elbows tucked to my sides. I like to be very, very strict when I'm doing these. So now the question is, should you cheat? Should we do cheat curls? And if you don't know what the cheat curl is, majority of the people you see in the gym doing barbell curls or even bicep curls are doing the cheat variation. So the answer, should you cheat? Sure, when the weight gets a little heavier, use momentum. I'm fine with that. What you don't want to do is swing the weight up and put a ton of stress on your back when you lock out. So that's why I said majority of folks in the gym do the cheat variation because you'll see them swinging the weight and rocking backwards, bending their back. That is what we do not want. So for me to avoid all of that, I just keep the weight moderate and I make sure that I'm doing this as strict as possible. Also, you want to keep your wrist locked all through the movement. No bending in the wrist. All right, moving on. Next up, rope press down. These right here are my favorite tricep exercise. I love these things. Shout out to Amazon for the pulley. The link is down below in the description box. Go grab you one. Like I said, rope press downs are perfect for the triceps. You want to lean forward a bit, but make sure it's your hips that you're hinging backwards and not just the top half of your body leaning all the way forward. So when you hinge your hips backwards, you're technically hinging forward just a slight bit. All right, and I'm talking about your upper half of your body. Just like the barbell curl, you wanna roll your shoulders back a bit and get them out of the way. Open up the rope at the bottom of the movement, but don't over-exaggerate. Don't try to pull the rope apart. Just move your arms down and out a bit. One thing to pay attention to is the position of my top half of my arm. It's not directly on the side of me, it's slightly forward. This changes everything. Keep your biceps in place all the way through the movement and get this work. All right, it's time for another bicep movement. As you notice, I went from biceps to triceps and now we're back to biceps that's how i like to perform my arm workouts i like to attack one half and attack the other half so more of an antagonistic type of training where i'm focused on the front arm and the back arm bicep and tricep so we have these inside hammer curls some say you can't get bicep activation from these i beg to differ i beg to differ a lot i get nothing but bicep contractions at the top of the movement at the bottom of the movement all the way to about halfway i get nothing but forearm activity once i bring the dumbbell up close to my bicep it's now turned on and the contraction is real trust me when i tell you that look at the clip for yourself i choose to do these with the inside variation to target a little more of the outside of the bicep your brachialis this is just a different variation i feel a better contraction when i bring my arm across the body like i'm doing here but either way the biceps and forearms are working why not target your forearms when it's the arm day you want a complete physique we want good biceps triceps and forearms you get a lot of forearm activation in a lot of your other movements all throughout the week when you're hitting chest shoulders back everything but it's okay to isolate them on arm day and really get some work in no 
Your forearms will not look like Popeyes, so get that out of your head. But you still want some strong forearms. It's going to assist you in all of your other lifts. Last but not least, yes, I said last but not least. As you notice, when I perform my workouts, I don't overdo it with a whole bunch of exercises. Plus, I'm just getting back into the groove of things. Ideally, you don't need to overpower yourself with tons and tons of exercises. You want to pick at least three to four, maybe even five really good exercises and really get some volume in with those. So now, last up, we have skull crushers. Don't look at me like that. Skull crushers. They're good for you, especially if you do it the right way. There's an optimal way to do these and you can see it in the video right now. This is how I like to do them. I believe you get the most tricep activation and the most tricep muscle development. So here are the cues that I focus on when I'm doing this movement. Lie down on the bench and grab the bar shoulder width or a little inside shoulder width. Hold it above your head. When you lower the bar down, you need to lower it behind your head, not to your skull. This will help increase your range of motion for sure. When you pull or push the weight up, do not bring the bar back to the original starting position, which was over your head. Keep your arms angled like you see here. Keep all that tension in the tricep. If you have an easy bar, again, use it. It's better. The easy bars are created to help you avoid wrist issues. Straight bars aren't the best for arm movements, but we make do. So immediately after I hit a nice rep range in the skull crushers i now superset that with close grip bench press using the same bar using the same weight this will bring 10 times the intensity to this exercise to this superset what i'm thinking here is keeping my hands shoulder width apart and keeping my shoulders locked into the bench when i press up i'm using nothing but triceps to move this weight sure my chest will activate but not as much as you think. Make sure you're dropping the bar to the bottom of your chest and focus on moving nice and slow. It's all about tut, time under tension. I used to talk about time under tension a lot, different techniques when you're in the gym, back when I was doing vlogs, and it kind of got lost into all the other footage because I was doing physique updates and everything like that. Go ahead, I put a card up top. You can check out some of those old vlogs, contest prep vlogs, but I want to bring back explaining different techniques. Time under tension is very important when we're talking about muscle building. Think of a bench press. Time under tension is all that time that that your chest is getting to work that's time on attention so you never want to be moving all this weight real fast you're not getting no time on attention you're not going to build quality muscle if you are rushing through your workouts rushing through your exercises slow things down and really feel it while you're here i want you to go ahead and take a look at some of these arm workouts these are follow along arm workouts that i have put together and i got a lot of feedback from them they actually work time on attention is very important and when i'm doing my follow along videos with the durations that we're hitting these exercises, we're getting a lot of work in. So I encourage you, try them out, check out this playlist. And if you're not part of the team already, subscribe to the channel. I need you guys to subscribe to the channel, stay locked in, keep rocking with the X Factor Fitness team, and let's keep making gains. All right, so go get bigger arms. I'm out.